Hey, Earth Signs, and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your January 14th, 2018 or 19 love reading. This is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what love has in store for you for Monday. seeing a lot of confusion for you guys. Um, not knowing how to get what you want is important for somebody. Um, the juggling of energies is really strong right now. Though when I was pre-shuffling on your guys' uh, your guys's zodiacs, the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles both came out. So you do have good things coming for you. Okay, you just got to get through some of these hard times. Okay, your guys' bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Cups. You guys are coming to the end of a major life cycle here. You need to do some healing needs to be done after a third party situation. Um, and you need to allow cycles to come to an end in your life. Oh, you had two, the 10 of wands and the 10 of swords behind that too. So, um, needing to allow cycles, uh, to, to work their way through. Sorry, I got to turn my heater off. It's super hot in here. Okay. So, um, you guys do have some good things coming in for you. You're you're feeling lucky today. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius um, or any fixed sign. Um, yeah, uh, you guys, uh, you're, you're having a hard time seeing through the hard times. Like right now you're going through kind of a hard cycle. Things are coming to an end. Um, you're, balance, you're trying to balance out your energy. You need to see past that because you guys are getting discouraged but good things are coming for you. Good things are coming in with this wheel. Uh, you have to leave behind, though, the hard energy. You can't allow new positive blessings to come in if you're holding on to old, stagnant um, situations where they are draining on you. There's a situation that you're walking away from that you uh, have emotionally invested in but there's nothing left for you here anymore. So it's, you need to set out in search of those two of cups. For some of you, you know, somebody that is your two of cup love, um, that you're having a hard time moving forward towards because you have to leave behind another situation first, but good things, good cycles are coming in for you. When you release this old emotionally, um, draining cycle, this cycle that you emotionally invested in over a long time, um, once you walk away from that, once, uh, you allow this energy to be released, then you have love coming in, new love, beautiful love, true love, whether you're offering this to somebody or somebody is coming in, offering it to you, but it's not offering this cup to the same person that you have needing, that you are needing to walk away from. You see, they are heading in the opposite direction. This person possibly doesn't want to let you go, um, so it's making it even harder to move forward. It's harder to leave this person because they are trying to get you to stay. But like I said, there's nothing left here. All these cups are empty. They're upside down, stacked on top of each other because there's nothing left in them. You can't, uh, you can't refill them because you can't get that water that was in them before, the emotions. You can't have, get the same emotions back in those cups. They're already drained. So it's time to move forward and start this new cycle in your life to, uh, to allow these new blessings to come in for you. But in order to do that, you have to clear your energy of the past. Um, the universe can't bring you in new energy if your life is already full and, um, and you're not releasing the old. So let go of any emotional situations, whether it be work, relationships, family, friends, any situations that you have emotionally invested in over time. 
and no longer fulfill you emotionally, it's time to let those go. They're not serving their purpose. They're not doing anything but junking up your space, taking up energy, draining you of your energy, and you're and you can't get replenished again because there's nothing left in them. So once you move forward and allow this new cycle in your life, love is going to come in for you. True love. Um, <clears throat> your guys' energy, it starts out with the page of pentacles. So you could be making a offer to somebody. Um, it's, it's very, it's not enough. You could be offering somebody uh, something because you can't fully give to them yet because you haven't left this situation. Um, so you're not able to give at the night status. So you're still, um, it's its very little. You're offering somebody very little. Um, could be the person that you're, that you're holding on to uh, because you don't really want to be offering that. Or it could be somebody that... Um, that you're interested in, but you can't offer them anything more because you have nothing left to give because you haven't left this yet. Um, this is causing you a lot of stress, a lot of worry. Somebody in your space that, that you don't want to leave, like somebody could be wanting to leave and you're not wanting them to go. Um, they're not accepting this offer. It's causing you a lot of stress, whether you're the one offering or you're the one receiving. Um, this just isn't enough to make a relationship happy. Yeah. Um, so this person could have uh, been in and out of your life. They've just caused you a lot of emotional distress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of tears have been cried over this situation. Um and you just you just know something's not right. You could have a feeling that this person's going to leave you. You could because something has clearly changed. At one point in time, there was a lot of abundance here, but now you can feel something changing. You can feel the energy shifting. You can feel their interest just isn't in it as much as it was, and you feel like there could be somebody else. If you are the one that is wanting to offer it to somebody outside of this relationship. Um, you're making this offer. And they they are sad and stressed out and depressed because it's not what they had hoped for. There's a lot of different uh, situations going on here. Let me take a look at what's down here and I'll focus my messages a little more. Okay. So, all right, Virgo, you're here in the earth sign reading today. Um, it's calling for you guys to, to, to step away from everybody, everybody, everything, and concentrate and figure out what you want. You need to, you need to rest and rejuvenate your heart, body, and soul because this third party has just totally, uh, exhausted you. But that is coming to an end. This cycle is ending, whether it be a marriage or a long-term commitment or the third party. One of them is coming to an end with the world there. Um, you're really stressed out. You're really, uh, you have a lot on your mind, a lot on your plate. Uh, you are so confused. Your head is telling you to do one thing. Your heart is telling you to do another. And uh, it's calling for you to go within. Take a step back. If you could choose anything in this world with nobody having an opinion, nobody getting hurt, nobody uh, getting mad at you or, or being happy with you, however it goes, if you and only you and your opinion mattered, what would you want? What would you go after? What would you do? Who would you be with? That's what you need to figure out because you're, you have so many thoughts racing around in your head that I feel you don't even know what you want. So... If you don't even know what you want, how are you going to go get what you want? You have to be the own you have to be your own driver in the car of life. You can't set out on a destination not knowing where you're going because sure shit you're going to wind up exactly where you don't want to be. 
So you need to figure out what direction in life you're heading. Where are you going? What do you want? Who do you want? You need to go within, find your own inner light, um, ground yourself. You know, you're not in the moment. Um, you're, you're up in your head too much. When you do that, you will then be enlightened by the divine. You will be enlightened by your own inner spirit and you will start, uh, listening to your intuition. You will start following your heart. And not letting yourself get lost up in here in all these thoughts, all this worry. So once you go within and you figure out what it is that you want, you'll know where to put this offer. You'll know which direction you're going in. And it will lead you in the direction of beautiful things. But you have to walk away from what is no longer serving you. Go within, figure out which direction you're going in, where you want to go, who you want to be with. And then you will clearly know who to offer this cup to. The person that you are dealing with, um, they have a lot of love for you. They have, um, they have unconditional love for you. They have a hard time voicing their emotions to you. Um, but that doesn't mean that they don't love you still. That doesn't mean that um, they won't stick with you through thick and thin. Um, Yeah, for some of you, you are an earth sign dealing with an earth sign, and you're really stressed out about your Virgo partner. You feel that this partner has, you feel that this person loves somebody else. Um, yeah, you are very afraid, you're very scared that your, your person is, has unconditional love for somebody else. You're just waiting for them to leave. Like you're just waiting for that 10 of swords to follow. The, this person that you're dealing with, they had a third party or you did one of this is clearly a third party, but the third party was cut off uh, momentarily. This could have been with a Sagittarius or a Leo or any water sign. But um, Your person or you, because I feel for a lot of you, this is an earth sign with an earth sign. Um, you could be wanting to move forward with this fire sign, but you don't know how. And you're worried this, this person is going to leave to move on without you. You need to realize you have control of the situation. No matter whether you are the one that had the third party or was in the third party, you are the creator of your own future. You are the one that determines what comes into your life, what goes out of your life. You have to have the courage and the strength to move forward, to face your fears, to face the world alone if you have to. Um, but don't let this situation put you in a position that almost paralyzes you, that keeps you from moving forward. It's time for you to go forward and get what you want or stand up for what you want. Stand up for what you believe in, for the relationship that you want. And if this person can't give it to you, then it's time to move forward, to face that fear, to, to go after what it is that you want because there's so many things here waiting for you. In your guys' outcome, a love, a love offer is going to be made, but it be careful because it's, it's, uh, not a big offer and it may not be an offer of love at all because there is a fish in the cup. Um, so it could appear to be like a love offer, but it also could be an offer to make you happy because it's what you want to hear. Um, it may not be true. It may not be, it may be, a like a facade to keep you satisfied for the moment, or you may be doing this to somebody else. Because, uh, yeah, because the king of cups doesn't make a page of cups offer. So your person or you could be making a love offer to somebody else as well. Um, because at the end of the day, your last card is heartache. So your person could be either making you a love offer that is an illusion that isn't really, they don't really mean it. Or they are making a love offer to somebody else, leaving you with heartbreak. This has been a rough road. This has been a lot. This has been a long road. And I said that you had both the 10 
of Wands and the Ten of Swords right behind the World card here. So there is a lot. Oh no, then the last next card out was a Seven of Swords. Yeah, so most definitely. Right under that is the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. But, uh, but past that, after your Ten, okay, this is going to be a little bit longer than everybody else's, but that's okay. Today you're going to end in heartache. Today you're realizing that maybe your person isn't the person for you. You're realizing that it's time for you to move on. It's time for these cycles to end. It's time for you to deserve to receive and give this love. That is what's coming in for you. But what you need to know is you need to let these cycles end. This relationship is stressful. This relationship is burdensome. This relationship is heavy, sad, depression. Why hold on to something like that? Why hold on to somebody who makes you sad, who makes you question if there's somebody else in your relationship or not? And there is. Why put yourself through that when you can rest, relax, rejuvenate, recover, allow the cycle to end, move away from it, walk away from it, divorce this person, end this relationship, whatever this major life cycle that needs to be ended because of cheating, put these swords down, put these wands down. And then look what you have. When you let these cycles end, you have the Ace of Cups, the Lovers, the Chariot, Four of Pentacles, something you feeling as your precious, the Empress, spiritual wisdom, a relationship with no secrets. I mean, why wouldn't you want that relationship? Why wouldn't you want what's on the other side of this coin? You have deceit and sadness and depression on this side of the coin. And then you have all of this on the other side of the coin. Why are we still sitting here? You guys have amazing, great things for waiting for you. Amazing karma is coming in your direction. The only thing stopping you is you're not moving. You're stagnant. You're staying in a relationship that is not for you. It is not. I'm sorry, but it's not. Walk away from this relationship that is draining you. Your energy is spent and it's not getting any better. This person is giving you a, a offer that is fake and, and for their benefit. When you could have somebody who comes in and sweeps you off your feet and is a romantic and loves you and treats you right and gives you everything you deserve. You deserve this, Earth Science. You deserve it. So let this go. Heal from this and allow your true king or queen of cups to come in and make you this love offer so you can live a life of happiness and be with somebody you trust and who will be faithful to you. Okay, guys, I wish you had a more positive reading, but sometimes that happens. Sometimes um, the most important message comes out in the cards always. And today your guys' most important message is to let go of that heartache. It's only going to continue this karmic cycle you're in until you stand up and walk away from this heartache. It's only going to keep happening over and over and over again until you learn your karmic lesson. So in that cycle now, allow it to end, allow that world card in and move forward and allow real love, true love to come into your guys's life. All right. That's all I got for you guys. Have a good Monday. God bless.